Milan, Italy's financial capital, is one of the most exciting cities in Europe. The fast-paced growth, the incredible history, and the attention to the environment are just a few reasons for spending a long weekend there. Let's find out together all of the great spots Milan has to offer. Welcome back to Town Travel Tips. Today, you will discover the best six spots in Milan. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and you are all set for a beautiful Italian trip. Number 6. Duomo The Duomo has been the symbol of Milan since the 1400s. This stunning church, completed only in 1965, is among the top five Christian cathedrals worldwide and a masterpiece of Gothic and Renaissance architecture. The over 130 pinnacles around the perimeter make the structure very recognizable. If you want a closer look at the carvings and the marble sculptures, buy a ticket and reach the rooftop using the ancient steps or a modern elevator. The view from the roof is a unique mix of old and new, with the contemporary skyscrapers blending in with medieval fortresses and the Italian Alps in the background. Take the chance to explore the interior. The 15th century stained glass windows in the nave are the largest in the world, and the 15 columns supporting the cathedral are as big as you can imagine. Duomo can host more than 40,000 people, and the millions of tourists each year flocking to its surface get stunned by the gold and silver items in the treasury chamber, the Borromeo Chapel, and the crypt. Number 5. The Last Supper The Last Supper is one of the most well-known masterpieces by Leonardo da Vinci. Made even more famous by Dan Brown's Da Vinci Code novel, this fresco is located in a small room called Cennacolo, next to Santa Maria della Grazie, a stunning church dating back to 1459. Da Vinci succeeded in creating a dynamic mural painting. It almost looks to the viewer that the scene is moving, that the dining table is alive, and that the characters are engaging in actual conversations. The Last Supper has been restored several times, and today is in one of the best conditions ever. Book your tickets well in advance, because access to the room is very limited, and the waiting list can extend up to three weeks. Number 4. Sant'Ambrogio Sant'Ambrogio, erected in the 12th century around the choir of an early 9th century church, is a very ancient and perfectly kept building dedicated to St. Ambrose, the city's patron saint. The large portico, dating back to the 10th century, is an unmatched example of Romanesque architecture. The interior is even more impressive, with unique sculptures, the Sacello di San Vittore mosaic, dating back to the 5th century, and the crypt where the St. Ambrose relics are stored. The church is located in a lovely neighborhood, featuring the renowned Milan Science Museum, one of Milan's universities, and some Roman ruins dating back 2,000 years. Number 3. Navili District Navili District is one of the most lively areas in the city, both during the daytime and in the evening. Tourists looking for a quiet walk, boutiques, and artists' shops should come here before 6 p.m. After that, the streets of Naviglio Grande, split by a water canal, become the reign of the Italian aperitivo. Bars, pubs, cafes, and restaurants take over the scene, and people of all ages gather here to chill after their busy days. Ethnic eateries, cocktail bars, and Michelin-starred restaurants are all tucked together. The energy in the district is impressive and can be easily perceived whether you are only a one-time visitor or a local living here. Number 2. Yeah. The Shopping District Milan is one of the fashion capitals of the world, and unsurprisingly, the Shopping District, or Quadrilatero della Moda as it is called, is amazing. Via Monte Napoleone, Via della Spiga, Via Manzoni, and Corso Venezia are the four key streets each with a succession of windows showcasing the latest designs and trends from the best Italian and international designers. From Prada to Versace, 
from Fendi to Armani. Even if this kind of shopping is not a match for your pockets, walking in these streets surrounded by the store's lights and fancy cars is a pretty unique experience. Number 1. Sforzesco Castle The Castello Sforzesco was erected in 1368 by the Visconti and Sforza dynasties, who controlled Milan from 1277 to 1535. The Torre di Filarete front tower is a 70-meter-tall replica of the original gate tower built in 1905. The Castello is home to the Museo del Castello Sforzesco, a collection of museums, one of which is dedicated to sculpture. The Pietà Rondanini, Michelangelo's final masterpiece, was transferred here in 1953 from the Palazzo Rondanini in Rome. If you are not in the mood for touring a museum, Coming to the castle and just walking through the central courtyard will make you feel like you are in medieval times. You can find Parco Sempione, an extensive green city park with bars, cafes, and huge trees right behind the court. Once the hunting ground of the Sforza family, the park is now open to the public. Locals love to get here for a morning run, a picnic on the lawns, or witness the foliage depending on the season. Have you been to Milan? Let us know in the comments section below which other unique places you have visited. If you are planning a trip, feel free to ask your questions to our community. We are here to help every fellow traveler. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the following video. Ciao!